So I would say in the last couple of years, not only am I feeling freer, but I'm really trying to be more creative. Mm -hmm. And I don't know whether that's really anything to do with mirrorless or whether it's just like you've got to do something different yeah. because there's yeah. so many people doing this. Yeah. So during the pandemic, when in the depths of the pandemic, um, I did a lot of backlit shots just uh-huh. to be different, uh-huh. you know, and I love it. And it's just just much easier with the with the lighter gear to go out and try them. So I love backlighting. Oh, and so and people few it. So people tr- tr- So few people try it. It's too too bad. It's so, true. And the, those those backlit black turns that you were photographing. Oh. <laughs> I love those. Oh yeah, I love back, those. That background is just so amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And I, you know, I shot hundreds of images there. And um, but again, it was like the spray and get it kind of thing. You know, you keep with the bird and then all of a sudden it goes across this amazing background. Um, and you got it, you know, but you've got to stay focused on the bird. Yeah. 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 So I spent hours there in those couple of mornings in a row. So, yeah. So beautiful. Great. Thank you. So I'm glad you like them. And the light was so good. The light was. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, first thing in the morning. Yeah, you got to for that kind of stuff. You really need it low light in the morning. Once it gets up a little bit too high, you get too much light on the back, um, and then especially for those black kind of shiny birds, it, it gets a shine on it that is not not pretty. So it really needs to be very low light. Yeah, there's just so much we learn from each other when we watch each other. We look at each other's photos, and there's just <laughs> there's so much that we learn. Well, I try and explain when I post stuff online, you know, and I'm not on Instagram, you, I'm sure you are, but I'm on Facebook. And I try and explain my mindset, you know, yeah. when I'm shooting stuff. This is why I did this. This is why I did that. I don't always do it because I, I sometimes feel like I'm giving a lot of stuff away, you know, and, and it's like, what am I getting back? <laughs> but every once in a while, I'll really go into detail about what I did. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and the, I think that's important. We're sharing. Yeah, yeah. We're I sharing. think people appreciate it. They really yeah. do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The time if I miss some, it's not the equipment. I, I think I think it sounds like you have got the same idea as me that it's allowing you to push the envelope of your abilities. Mm-hmm. I mean, like I don't know you you I didn't ever see any of the setup shots where you were telling me that pe- people were shooting the hummingbirds uh-huh. with the feeder on the ground. Yes. That's pushing the envelope. I mean, I would never have thought to do that. <laughs> How on earth did you get the idea to do that? It was backlit, you know, so it was beautiful. The morning sunlight was coming up. There was a light mist falling with the sun still. The hummingbirds were going crazy and it was black chinned hummingbirds. So we were dealing with 250 black chinned hummingbirds, you know? So, so it's not like you're having to wait. I'd done some backlighting with the beautiful narrow bokeh like you did on your turns yeah yeah. and when I looked down I saw that the grass was all sparkling (gasps) and and so I said okay guys we got to get down we got to get down and so we we took the feeders and put them on the ground so that the black chins would fly across the the grass and it didn't quite give me the bokeh that I was looking for yeah but it's still pretty yeah yeah so they were coming into the feeder. They weren't coming into a specific spot. Mm-hmm. So you were just, oh, wow. So you were just managing to get on them as they approached. Yes. Like, wow, yes. that's awesome. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And this is something that I noticed about the, the mirrorless. Uh-huh. Um, it was getting confused between the water drops and the birds because everything was moving. And okay. that, oh. <laughs> was, that, that was very challenging. So I had to go off of autofocus and go to manual focus interesting because it was hmm. trying to focus on the rain as well as try to focus on the birds so it was raining also no uh-huh. it was oh i see okay oh yeah huh wow that's very really cool wow yeah it was fun I bet. <laughs> yes. I want to see some of the pictures from it because I, yeah. I did, you know, all those ladies were shooting away there. Oh, they were having fun. It was, it was good. And it was the end of our workshop. So we okay. had all, we, you know, we had already been four days of, of just shooting all kinds of wild and crazy things. And uh, so it, it, it was, it was a good time for us to do that. You're very creative. I mean, I loved what you were all doing. You're doing with that crystal ball thing. That's oh, yeah. so amazing. Oh yeah. oh yeah. The crystal ball is fun too. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 